KIDK Eyewitness News 3 continues. There are many challenges right now. For some people, there have always been challenges, even pre-pandemic. Things like addiction and recovery. But I found a place where they help those who have been incarcerated or struggling to overcome get back on a better path. It just takes steps. Steps to joy. Time to pay it forward. It is called Steps to Joy. Tremendous numbers, people coming a lot. It began as a prison ministry effort about four and a half years ago, and then a Bible study from there. At the head is this man, founder and director Michael Mercedes. All of the effort here is a volunteer effort. No one is paid for anything that we do here, uh, including myself, including people that teach our lessons through the Celebrate Recovery program. He now implements a 12-step recovery program into this nonprofit. And with a three-person board, it's really a public charity licensed to provide social services. He says people need support and somewhere to turn because the recovery process is not easy. By nature, the odds are strongly stacked against people that are pursuing a life of recovery. There's so many things that are pulling them back into what the old life would be. Michael is clean and sober, coming up on 32 years in February. The program here is helping many people. Take Angel Madrid. He lost his mother just five days after becoming clean. He's been sober for more than a month now. I don't think I would have made it. I don't. It's, it's been rough. I've had everything thrown at me, but because of this organization, it's also opened doors. You know, it's gotten my heart opened up to God and and it's just, I've been back in contact with my kids, and, and it's just a miracle what they do here. Or this woman who we'll call Jane. She is new to the area. But now I have, I have family, I have support, I have people around me to bring me up. If, I have, um, if I'm having a downtime, I know I have people that care. Johanna Mercedes is the treasurer and Michael's wife. She, too, has taken the recovery journey herself. Don't give up. I was at rock bottom. I'm here now because someone took the time to invest their energy and their time in me and help me see there's better out there and that life doesn't have to be what it used to be. Time to pay it forward. We have um, a lot of opportunities to network with that. We serve in, in a are mentoring you, capacity. Are you Michael? I am. Hi, I'm Corey with Mountain America Credit Union. How are you? Good, we've heard about all the awesome stuff you're doing for our community oh. and the much needed service you're providing, yeah. giving hope in this time of need. Yeah, we are. So right to the, today, oh, so I brought $500 in cash oh, that we'd like to pay it forward for all the good stuff you're doing for our community. And we know you can use this and, and continue to better the lives of those around us. So on behalf of Mountain America Credit, we'd, we'd like to pay it forward and, oh, man. and tell you thanks for all that you're doing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Oof. You can find Steps to Joy in downtown Idaho Falls at 830 Park Avenue. The best way to get in touch with Michael and the rest of the organization is through their website, stepstojoy.org. I have that link with this story at kidk.com. Our Pay It Forward stories air the second Wednesday of every month, so if you know of a nonprofit organization or someone who just deserves to be recognized for their contributions to the area, let me know. Here's how you do it. Log on to KIDK.com. Click on News under the menu at the top left of our homepage. Then click Pay It Forward. You can find this story and past stories. You can also fill out the form to submit your nomination. It comes right to me. Or you can send me an email to my address. It is Todd, T-O-D-D, -D, that's Kunz, uh, dot K-U-N-Z, at KIDK.com.